I know you were pointing to me, but I work for PBS News. I know that. No, I know that. Okay. Okay. I know. Um, So I want to ask you, yesterday you were talking about your administration's accomplishments at the United Nations, and a lot of the leaders laughed. Why do you think they were laughing? Well, that's fake news. And what was that experience like? It's fake news. And it was covered that way. Okay. So I said that since my election, our economy has become the hottest in the world. Tax reductions, regulations, uh, confidence levels are the highest uh, in 18 years, really soon to be historic. Unemployment is the lowest in the history of our country. You look at black unemployment, you look at Asian unemployment, you look at uh, women 65 years. The unemployment numbers are among the best we've ever had, ever. The numbers of new companies pouring into our country, which nobody thought was possible, And I said this, and I was in front of a large group of highly professional people, most of whom are from either other countries or the United Nations, people that aren't big into clapping, applauding, smiling. And I heard a little rustle, as I said, our country is now stronger than ever before. It's true, I mean, it is true. And I heard a little rustle, and I said, it's true. And I heard smiles, and and I said, oh, I didn't know there'd be that guy. They weren't laughing at me. They were laughing with me. We had fun. That was not laughing at me. So the fake news said people laughed at President Trump. They didn't laugh at me. People had a good time with me. We were doing it together. We had a good time. They respect what I've done. The United States is respected again. The United States was not respected. Everybody was taking advantage of us from jobs and taking our companies and not paying the price to so many other things, even military protection. I told a number of countries over the last few days, I said, listen, you're a very rich country. We protect you. Without our protection, you would have real problems. You would have real problems. I I said, you should reimburse us for this protection. Why are we protecting you? And do you want to know what they said? After about two minutes of talking, they agreed with me. And you can ask this group of very talented people. They agreed with me. But they said, one of them said, but Mr. President, nobody ever asked us for that. They never asked us for that. Nobody's ever said, you should pay. These are really wealthy countries. I mean, I'll be honest, I just asked Japan. I said, we're defending you, you're a very wealthy country, you're sending us millions of cars, you're making a fortune, we have a tremendous trade deficit with you, and we're defending you, and we're subsidizing your military with a massive amount of money. I said it to South Korea. We have 32,000 soldiers in South Korea. They're very wealthy, these are great countries, these are very wealthy countries. I said, why aren't you reimbursing us for our costs? And you know what, they look at me and they can't even answer it because there's no answer. If they're a poor country and they needed protection and people were gonna die, I'm all for protecting them, I don't want 10 cents. But when wealthy countries that have massive trade surpluses with us, massive, and then on top of that, we're paying for their military or we're paying for a lot of their military, that doesn't work. How about two more and we'll Wait, call. Mr. President, really quickly, and Mr. President, you said you feel a kinship. You, feel, you said you feel a kinship with Brett Kavanaugh, and you 